。加拿大中南部城市 Regina 在年初发生凶杀案，四名原住民青年涉嫌杀害同部落族人而被捕，在二月底被判刑。对当地部落而言，所造成的伤害和影响难以负荷。There were so many youths involved in that, you know, in that situation, and not only did we lose a member. You know, through death, but we lost a lot of our young community members through incar to incarceration. 面对部落内犯罪行为的沮丧和担忧，一个小团体应运而生，取名为“白驹巡守队”，希望透过自发性的巡守，发挥守望相助的力量，守护自己的部落。One, because I used to be a part of the violence, and um, uh, two, because the violence happens right in has happened many times right in front of our house. I'm a mother of eight. You know, I have three grandchildren. 白驹小队的成员也跟 Winnipeg 的熊族巡守队情谊。由人民自发组成的熊族巡守队，其实成立已经有一段历史，但曾经中断十年的时间没有运作。在去年底，与 Winnipeg 北部区域再度重组，成员从本来的十几人，迅速成长为现在有百人的规模。Me, it's validation that our model is is solid. You know.、Uh, You know, not just the Winnipeg's North End now.、Uh, Winnipeg as a whole is is taking a, a real shine to us, and you know now we have interest from from Regina, from Saskatoon, from Kenora. Except they're dealing with the same stuff that we're dealing with here,、um, you know. And again, like they've had a lot of su success in、um, engaging their community and being accepted within their community, and we want to know how you know how they've done that. Winnipeg 的熊族巡守队成员则表示，这样的模式想要成功，唯一的重点就是要由族人自发性发起响应。We're the keepers of the land, and we're defending our our, our women, our children, our elderly, our our vulnerable members of our community. And because we're not getting enough supports, you know, from the state, we're we're making our own. 面对部落的犯罪和暴力问题，族人自发性的采取守护的巡守行动。不同城市部落的巡守队也相互交流经验，就是希望可以找到最合适的方式，好好的确保部落安全，远离犯罪和暴力。记者杜希卡洛编译。